So welcome to morning prayer if you've just joined us and a special welcome to you if you're joining us for the very first time. You will usually find us here 8 o'clock, around about 8 o'clock, Monday to Friday. You are very welcome. You can follow the link and follow the words. You can follow the readings in your own Bible or simply listen in and add your own prayers. There will also be a time for silent prayer during our intercessions. So I welcome you this morning in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Today the church remembers Samuel and Henrietta Barnett, social reformers, 1913 and 1936. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise, and a song of God's blessing. God be gracious to us, and bless us, and make his face to shine upon us, that your way may be known upon earth, your saving power among all the nations, let the peoples praise you, O God, let all the peoples praise you. Or let the nations rejoice and be glad, for you will judge the peoples righteously and govern the nations upon earth. Let the peoples praise you, O God, let all the peoples praise you. Then shall the earth bring forth her increase, and God, our own God, will bless us. God will bless us, and all the ends of the earth shall fear him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O oh God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Psalm 63. The refrain is, My soul is a thirst for God, even for the living God. My soul is a thirst for God, even for the living God. O oh God, you are my God, eagerly I seek you. My soul is a thirst for you. My flesh also faints for you, as in a dry and thirsty land where there is no water. So would I gaze upon you in your holy place, that I might behold your power and your glory. Your loving kindness is better than life itself, and so my lips shall praise you. I will bless you as long as I live, and lift up my hands in your name. My soul is a thirst for God, even for the living God. My soul shall be satisfied, as with marrow and fatness, and my mouth shall praise you with joyful lips. When I remember you upon my bed, and meditate on you in the watches of the night. For you have been my helper, and under the shadow of your wings will I rejoice. My soul clings to you, your right hand shall hold me fast. My soul is a thirst for God, even for the living God. But those who seek my soul to destroy it shall go down to the depths of the earth. Let them fall by the edge of the sword and become a portion for jackals. But the king shall rejoice in God all those who swear by him shall be glad, 
for the mouth of those who speak lies shall be stopped. My soul is a thirst for God, even for the living God. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. We continue with our reading in the Old Testament from the book of Job. Today we are at chapter 23 and Job is speaking to his three visitors, his friends. There have been disputes, disagreements, but it's written um, so poetically as it tries to, I think, explain why sometimes bad things happen to good people. This ancient text. Then Job answered, Today also my complaint is bitter. His hand is heavy upon my groaning, all that I knew where I might find him, that I might come even to his dwelling. I would lay my case before him and fill my mouth with argument. I would learn that he would answer me and understand what he would say to me. Would he contend with me in the greatness of his power? No, but he would give heed to me. There an upright person could reason with him and I should be acquitted forever by my judge. If I go forward, he is not there. Or backward, I cannot perceive him. On the left, he hides, and I cannot behold him. I turn to the right, but I cannot see him. But he knows the way that I take. When he has tested me, I shall come out like gold. My foot has held fast to his steps. I have kept his way and not turned aside. I have not departed from the commandment of his lips. I have treasured in my bosom the words of his mouth. But he stands alone and who can dissuade him? For he desires that he does. For he will complete what he appoints for me. And many such things are in his mind. Therefore I am terrified at his presence. When I consider, I am in dread of him. God has made my heart faint. The Almighty has terrified me. If only I could vanish in darkness, and thick darkness would come over my face. For the word of the Lord, thanks be to God. Our Old Testament canticle is from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 42, and it is a song of the covenant. The refrain at the very beginning and the end is, I have given you as a light to the nations, and I have called you in righteousness. I have given you as a light to the nations, and I have called you in righteousness. Thus says God, who created the heavens, who fashioned the earth and all that dwells in it, who gives breath to the people upon it, and spirit to those who walk in it. I am the Lord and I have called you in righteousness. I have taken you by the hand and kept you. I have given you as a covenant to the people, a light to the nations, to open the eyes that are blind, to bring out the captives from the dungeon, from the prison those who sit in darkness. I am the Lord, that is my name, my glory I give to no other. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, 
and shall be forever. Amen. I have given you as a light to the nations, and I have called you in righteousness. Our New Testament reading, uh, we continue with St Paul's letter to the early church in Rome. Today, chapter 10, beginning at verse 11. The scripture says, no one who believes in him will be put to shame. For is that there is no distinction between Jew and Greek. The same Lord is Lord of all and is generous to all who call on him. For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. But how are they to call on one in whom they have not believed? And how are they to believe in one of whom they have never heard? And how are they to hear without someone to proclaim him? And how are they to proclaim him unless they are sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news. But not all have obeyed the good news. For Isaiah says, Lord, who has believed our message? So faith comes from what is heard. And what is heard comes through the word of Christ. But I ask, have they not heard? Indeed they have, for their voice has gone out to all the earth, and their words to the ends of the world. Again I ask, did Israel not understand? First Moses says, I will make you jealous of those who are not a nation. With a foolish nation, I will make you angry. Then Isaiah is so bold as to say, I have been found by those who did not seek me. I have shown myself to those who did not ask for me. But of Israel, he says, all day long, I have held out my hands to a disobedient and contrary people. For the word of the Lord, thanks be to God. Let's just pause for a moment. Just keep a bit of silence while we reflect on what we may have heard today. share some of the comments with you. So for Judith, faith comes through what is heard. And for Lorraine, a light to the nations. These are the phrases that have resonated. I think for me it's the line, for there is no distinction between Jew and Greek. The same Lord is Lord of all and is generous to all who call on him. So 
there is no distinction between Jew and Greek. For Carol, no one who believes in him will be put to shame. Thank you, Carol. Please feel free to carry on typing. Let's respond to our scripture this morning. Words from Isaiah chapter 43. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. When you walk through fire, you shall not be burned. I have called you by name, you are mine. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name, you are mine. And the Benedictus, the Song of Zechariah. The refrain at the very beginning and the end is You promised, O oh God, to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us. You promised, O oh God, to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. You promised, O oh God, to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us. Time now for our prayers, and we'll include a time of, of silence for our own thoughts and petitions. In the power of the Spirit and in union with Christ, let us pray to the Father. Loving God, we thank you for this new day. with all of its possibilities and its richness. We pray for the people we may encounter. We pray for our friends and family. We pray 
pray for our communities from where we are gathered. We pray for our brothers and sisters in Christ. And we give thanks for the fellowship we share as part of your church, as members of congregations. We ask for your grace, Lord, to flow through all of our interactions today. We pray for your grace, Lord, on all who are leading at this time. We pray for your grace, Lord, that we will have ears that hear. Make known to us your will for our churches, our communities and our lives. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Loving God, we pray for all who are working to support the NHS, the volunteers involved in the vaccine, the scientists who are analysing the data. Lord, in these next few weeks, may we all continue to be safe so that we can finally return to the freedoms we long enjoyed perhaps took for granted. We pray for anyone who has contracted COVID at this time. Anyone who is seriously ill. And as always, we pray for the well-being and care of all of our frontline staff, our key workers, our NHS staff. Support them, Lord, and all who love them and are alongside them every day. Please comfort all who are struggling with the extension, with the impact on finances and business. All who are on furlough, all who are now looking for a new job. Remind us that you are in this with us, Lord. And we pray for our brothers and sisters around the world as we face this together. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And in a time of silence, Lord, we lift to you those prayers on our hearts today.
Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Living God, we pray for all who are suffering at this time in mind, body or spirit. We pray for the mental health and well-being of our children and young people at this time. We pray for anyone who is suffering from an eating disorder and the families who care for them. We pray for anyone who is a carer at home for a loved one. Surround them all, Lord, with your love. And in this parish, by name, we pray for John Ellison. Jessica McCaskill, Carrie Waggett, Doreen Moig, Andrew Garber, Mrs Hewitt, Sid Harrison, Pat Middleton, Dorothy Macbeth, Stella Matthews, Michael Hughes, Chris Haynes, John Pike, Anne Taylor, Rod Taylor, Carol Woodfield, Christine, Beatrice Yorston, Wynne Alderslade, Grant and Sheena, Gillian, Mavis, Harriet Fraser, Grant Macbeth, Susan Fisher, Ruth Banks, Jane Shepherd, Marjorie Carruthers, Brian Henderson, Anne Henderson, Brenda Prophet, Stan, Gary, Jim, John Thorburn, Ashton, Marion, Betty Hall, Isla Mohammed, Gary Patterson, Jonathan Hall, June Barris, and for those people on our hearts today. May they know your healing presence, your comfort and your peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Merciful God, we pray for all who are seriously ill at this time. We pray for people who have lost loved ones recently. We ask you, through your Holy Spirit, to comfort all who are grieving, and all who are remembering loved ones, as memorials come round the birthdays, anniversary. And we pray for name, for the repose of the soul of Robert Wilson, Glenda Cunningham, Barbara Butterfield, Arthur Dennis and Gladys Cookson. We commend them to you, Lord, as we commend all those we love but no longer see. Into your eternal care, let light perpetual shine upon them. May they rest in peace and rise in glory. Amen. And our collect for today, Lord, you have taught us that all our doings without love are nothing worth. Send your Holy Spirit and pour into our hearts that most excellent gift of love, the true bond of peace and of all virtues, without which whoever lives is counted dead before you. 
grant this for your only Son, Jesus Christ's sake, who was alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil, and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. And thank you for joining us today. As we're back into our routine of services being in person and live stream, there is a service at 10 o'clock today and it will be on this Facebook page. So I do hope you can join us. Whatever you are doing, please know there are neither Jews nor Greeks. We're all the same to God. Those of us who know, we believe, we trust in him. And that's got to be good news any Thursday, I would think. So whatever you are doing today, know that you are loved. You are precious in God's sight, as is everyone you will gaze upon today. So please do take care of yourself. Remember, hands, face, space and fresh air. But let me send you on this morning with God's blessing. May God bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord look upon you this day and always and grant you his peace and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit remain with you and those who you love this day and always. Amen. Go in the light and peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. All being well, I'll be back tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. Bye-bye now.